best friends and welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're back. Either way, thank you so, so much for clicking on my video today. If you are new, hi, my name's Rabbit and my pronouns are they, them, and if you're back, welcome back. Either way, thanks again for being here. Okay, so this video is pretty exciting today. You guys can thank one of my lovely subscribers, Kat, for recommending this. It was their suggestion and I thought it was such a good idea basically to do a Halloween lookbook because I really like adorable pink, cutesy, stuff. I also love spooky stuff. I love Halloween. Valentine's Day is not that much of a thing for me, but considering that I do kind of love these really adorable aesthetics, I think it would be a really fun video to do. So I'm really excited to show you guys my outfits for it. I've also decided to kind of, instead of like in the timestamp calling the outfits like pink shirt with fishnet gloves and like instead of like having those descriptions of it I'm just gonna name every outfit after a song that I feel like kind of suits it I'm doing this because I think it would be really fun to be able to like kind of share music more in that way and YouTube won't let me put like clips of the music in without like not being able to let me monetize that which I understand that makes sense the musicians should get <laughs> the money from their music also like I spend a lot of time on my videos and I do want to be like compensated for my time in some way and like if you absolutely hate that and like don't want any part of that then just like don't watch it's a it's a okay but I will like put all the music that I've mentioned links to it below and as usual I always recommend like uh, reading the lyrics along when you're listening to new music especially if you like can't like if you're like me and lots of times you can't understand what people are saying especially on the first couple goes it can be a lot of fun. I've included a lot of like kind of spooky music, some a little bit more punk, but most of it's like more kind of gothy. I did a video kind of similar to this, like when I first started my YouTube channel, it was like a kind of Draculaura inspired lookbook where all the outfits were like pink and alternative and I think it's a lot of fun. But yes, a lot of people on that video were really unhappy and I'm kind of dreading that same pushback here. So basically, um, if you want to skip this little rant, feel free, I'll put the timestamp. I feel like every time I post a fashion alternative, any kind of video that's like based kind of on DIY or fashion or thrifting or whatever, I always get comments about like the subculture is about the music and like you're such a poser and like blah 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 blah. And it really bothers me that like the assumption that just because you care about DIY and fashion means you can't care about the music and like obviously are so ignorant about everything about the subculture. I've gotten like tirades of super condescending like this isn't real goth or punk or whatever and you should really know that the subculture truly was based out of this and that and you're perverting it a bullet okay okay I am so sorry you feel that way I don't know why you clicked on a DIY video if you don't want DIYs or a fashion video if you want music don't come into my donut shop and complain that we don't have pizza type of thing but whatever I guess every like people always tell me like everyone's allowed to say whatever they want on the internet and I get that to an extent but I also feel like people on the internet are way too comfortable with not everyone obviously the 99% of you are so freaking nice but there's just like this 1% that is so loud and you are guys are a pain in my ass and I wish you would just not watch my channel and go watch someone else's and stop with your tirades <sighs> I'm sorry, I had to get that off my chest. And I really don't mean to sound ungrateful. Like, I get so many amazing, sweet, incredible comments from like so many of you guys and they mean to the world to me. So I'm really sorry if this comes off as just like unnecessarily rude and big. I, I feel honestly really guilty for saying this because honestly, at the end of the day, it's just like my own issues with like self-esteem and not being able to take things that people say. Yeah, that's always been one of my things about like being like, maybe I'm just too sensitive for internet and YouTube and like, because people always say like don't post things if you can't like take people but I'm like yeah maybe I shouldn't I don't know I think it's just a thing of working on it at the end of the day but I don't mean to be like woe is me you guys all suck because you guys seriously mean the world to me and I can't believe that that you support me the way you do. Regardless, I hope you enjoy the music that I've included. I hope you enjoy the outfits I've included. Let me know if this is something you'd like. And um, if you already know all the songs, then that's super fun because you can like be like, oh yeah, I can totally like see how that outfit like kind of goes with that song. And if you don't know any of the songs, then maybe you're interested in checking them out. The band that I will just like give the biggest shout out to because I've been like, they were one of the first, like, spooky bands that I found when I was, like, 14. Cinema Strange, they're so close to my heart. And I've just been, like, in a huge, fat nostalgia phase of re-listening to them. Got all their albums on Bandcamp, so I'll link their Bandcamp below. I think they are just so incredibly unique, and I haven't found anyone that makes music quite like them. If you know someone that does, other than, like, the Dead Fly Ensemble, let me know, because I would love to find someone else that makes music like that. 
Anyway, that's enough of my rambling. I hope you guys enjoy my little lookbook. I know a lot of the outfits are very like high feminine and like whatever, whatever. Again, if that's not your cup of tea, maybe don't watch this video. I don't know what to tell people that are like, you wear too many skirts and dresses in your things. Like, sorry, that's just how I like to dress. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> it is what it is. Regardless, let's get into it. <laughs> okay, so for this look, it's super over the top, ridiculously cutesy, and I love it. I'm kind of out of the comfort zone of what I've been wearing lately, but I still think it's really good. Sorry if I'm super washed out. Starting at the top, I'm wearing these earrings that I DIY'd out of some coffin resin charms and some little fake pearls. I'm wearing this big old choker that I got online, this locket that I found at the thrift store, this bat charm I think is off an old Claire's necklace, this fake rosary I made. I have a tutorial on how I made this. Also made this. And this giant string of beads is, I'm pretty sure, Mardi Gras pearls, but I could be wrong on that. This hoodie I made myself recently. It's a redesign of one that I made a while ago and wanted to kind of make in a better material and with a better thing. So the idea of it is that it's like a bat hoodie. I have a video about all my latest DIYs up soon, but this one is really cute because it has an over, a very oversized hood and little bat ears. So it's like very adorable, cutesy cozy. It's not done, I need to add some patches and some bat wings to the back, like little felt ones, but I'm out of white felt, so it'll be a minute till we get that. If we take that off, my top is just a thrifted lace bralette that I found years and years ago at Valley Village. This fake belt, corset, waist cincher thing, find them online super easily. It's from like a year, a year ago. This skirt is a very recent creation. I made it a couple of days ago with this fabric by Joanna Parker that I got off Spoonflower. I am obsessed with it. It's super, super cute. I got this fabric as a Halloween present to myself and been meaning to turn it into something and I'm so happy that it turned into this adorable skirt. It's got these really cute, like vintage clown cats and these like adorable ghosties. This outfit I think would work really well as a clown core outfit if I just added some clown makeup, but I have to go to work later. <laughs> so I don't feel like doing that with today. I'm wearing one arm warmer that is probably from high school from Flares and this spiderweb fishnet that is from Spirit Halloween. Got a bunch of random rings on, ignore my nail polish. This purse is also from Spirit Halloween and I've added this little bat charm to it that I got in Amsterdam and I love it. For leg wear I've got mismatched tights as I love to do especially doing mismatched arm warmers and mismatched tights is like a look that I've loved since my teen years and I still think it's adorable. I'm wearing one pair of ripped pantyhose, one pair of ripped fishnets and then on this leg I've got this dollar store pair of tights. It's got this heart on it and it feels very Alice in Wonderland but I also thought it was very appropriate for this kind of super cutesy love Cory outfit. For boots I've got these knockoff demonias that I found on Facebook marketplace for around 50 bucks. They're super super comfy and I really really like them. So that's this outfit. Okay so this one is quite like a casual kind of more flirty date night type of outfit. This kind of spider web top dress thing that I'm wearing. I actually made it myself. I love it. It's just this like layer that I put over this velvet dress that I already owned and the dress originally had grommets going down it and it kind of obscured the dress so I just kind of pinned it with some safety pins to make it like not be so obvious but I really really like this spider web thingy that I made, it feels like a sort of lingerie dress slip sort of thing. And over the red, it just gives like the awesome, super vampy kind of vibe. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So for the earrings, I'm wearing these giant bat earrings that belong to my boyfriend, but I wear them a lot and I love them. And then behind those, I'm wearing these little like vampire mouth earrings. Vampires feel very like romantic and appropriate for Halloween, so I figured why not include something like that in the video. Uh, this choker I made myself, I have a video on it. It's just a piece of lace with some chain and this like fake bird skull on it. This necklace I also made myself. It's like a fake blood vial necklace. I feel like it looks good with this outfit. Um, it's got like this little bat charm dangling off of it and this little crucifix and it just feels very appropriate for this vampiric kind of inspired look. These arm warmers I also made myself and the matching spiderweb lace that my dress is made out of. Got my little coffin purse again. It's got its little bat charm 
as usual. For leg and footwear, I am just wearing a pair of fishnet tights layered over a pair of rib tights, and these boots that I found on Facebook Marketplace for, can you believe, $40? I am obsessed with them. They're a little big for me, so they definitely require a big pair of socks while I wear them, but they're incredible. I love them, and the person who sold them to me, I love you forever. This is this outfit. Very kind of witchy, vampy. A little more simple than what I usually go for, but I still feel very cute and romantic, and I feel like this would be perfect for like a fun, flirty little date. So. Yes. Okay, so this outfit is really special because pretty much everything I'm wearing except for the shoes um, in terms of the clothing, I either customized or DIY'd or did something to myself. So it feels very personal and very special for that reason. So let's start at the top. We've got these bone earrings that I just DIY'd out of some plastic bones from the dollar store around Halloween. Vampire teeth earrings again. Choker from AliExpress. Red bat stone necklace that I made myself red stone necklace with a fake crow that I made myself. This little shirt I customized back in high school, I think. It's like this little satin top. It's got grommets and this little plaid heart and safety pins and just little plaid patches and random metal stitching and fun different details that I added. And then underneath that, I'm wearing just a pair of tights with a hole cut in the crotch so that I have a little bit of some fishnet sleeves. This jacket, I obviously made myself. I made all the patches myself as well. I have a video about how to do all that kind of stuff if you're interested. This purse I also made myself. Felt like the red, even though it's not quite the right shade of red, matches the plaid and kind of gives this old school vibe. This feels very much like outfits that I would wear in high school. When I was in high school, I was much more into the kind of punk elements and also hippie versus goth, but yes, very, very exciting. This skirt is also DIY'd by me. It's got all these patches that are butchered from other plaid pieces, chain. I also put this chain belt over top of it. For leg and footwear, I've layered two pairs of shredded fishnet tights. One of them has like really big netting and one of them has really small netting. And I think it looks fun to layer those two over each other because you get a little bit of dimension. And these boots are from Value Village. I think they were around $16, which is insane because they are real demonias. The crime of these is that they're a tiny bit small for me. I've been trying to stretch them out for years. Plaid inset details, they're just the coolest. That is this outfit. There's nothing like overtly lovecore about it, I guess, except for like this little plaid heart and the fact that it's like all red. But I wanted to give something that was more a little bit in the kind of punk aesthetic because I love these clothes and they just don't get enough wear if I'm honest. So yes, that is this outfit. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this outfit is a bit more Halloween than Halloween, but it's okay. I thought I'd include it because I added a couple little like kind of sweet details. And so at the top, we've got these little heart-shaped earrings with this crow skull on them. Got this choker. That's one of my favorites. I got it ages ago. This is a little capelet that I made recently. I will have a tutorial up on how to make one of your own very, very soon because it's super simple and just like so, so cute in my opinion to add like a little bit of vintagey style, vintagey spooky style to any outfit. And this dress, I apologize greatly because I feel like a lot of people don't like the sound of this dress when I filmed in it before. So apologies for that, but I love it. It's so pretty and it makes me feel like an absolute princess. I found it at the thrift store and the reason I love it is just the silhouette is so freaking beautiful. It has this velvet bodice with like this V-shaped waistline, which I just think is absolutely incredible. The skirt part is just made of probably quite a cheap material, but it seems like satiny and I love it so, so much. One of the Halloween parts of this outfit is that I made this bat hair clip out of like one of those velvet Halloween bats but I gave them a little pink bow to make it like a little bit more sweet and Halloween-y. I hope you can see it from this angle. The other sweet part of this outfit is the shoes. I found these boots where? 
Facebook Marketplace, as always, my beloved place to find shoes. These are surprisingly comfy and so freaking cute. I'm not used to wearing platforms that have a heel on them. Normally I like lacked platforms, but for ones that have heart buckles, I was like, let's make the ex exception. So the heart buckles make it feel very like sweet and Valoini. Yeah, I can't believe someone sold me these secondhand on Facebook Marketplace. Can't believe I found them in my size. I'm obsessed with them. So that is this outfit. I was going for a vibe that I don't normally go for that is like the very classy, elegant look. I, I like to dress up this way in videos, but I rarely have reason to dress up in this kind of outfit for real life, though I do, just to go to the park or whatever with Cage. Always a fun occasion when I get to put on a beautiful dress and feel like a beautiful person from a vintage long time past. Plus this like cape has little witches in it and um, the bottom is all like spider webby. So yes, very, very Halloween and spooky on that edge. But yes, that is this look. Okay, so I'm honestly really excited about this outfit. I haven't worn pastels in forever, it feels like. So getting to like dress up all in pastels and feel all like kind of cutesy today has been a ton of fun. I've really enjoyed it. So. Let's get into this look. To start with the top, I'm wearing these earrings that I DIY'd forever ago. They're just these little kind of Luigi planchettes uh, that are pastel pink. I made out of resin and I got the charms online forever ago and I really like them. This little charm was a gift from my friend that I just put on a necklace. These are three pastel fake rosary kind of looking necklaces that I DIY'd. I think they're super, super fun and I definitely don't get enough use out of them because like I said, I've been kind of out of the pastel thing for a while, but my styles always tend to cycle so I never let go of this kind of thing and I still like make it even when I'm out of that phase of style because I know myself and I know that it's just a matter of time before I want to wear pastel pink again and then fairy stuff again and then like super hardcore and then super like flowy witchy stuff again and it's just a cycle here so accept it embrace it <laughs> all alternative fashions are so freaking beautiful and life is short so Gotta experience them all, experience all the music, experience everything that you can while you're here. Okay, <laughs> um, this is the jacket aforementioned. I feel it actually works quite good because like the London After Midnight patch and I think there's, and the Sisters of Mercy patch, you can't quite tell on camera, but they are pastel pink. So it does kind of match, you know, it works. This nightgown, I have been meaning to dye since I got it. I just got it from the thrift store for a couple of bucks. I really, really, like old lady nightgowns, especially with this style of collar. I find them so freaking flattering. It feels so vintage and like something a doll would wear, like a creepy vintage doll, and I just love it. However, I do not tend to wear long pastel pink nightgowns, even though I love the kind of like kinder whore, spooky cute kind of look. I just don't go for it that much. So I've been meaning to like dye this black and cut it short, but while it's still pink, it's being used in this lookbook. So yes, it's just a super long nightgown that goes all the way down to the floor. And I've layered this fake kind of leather and satin corset with this buckle detailing that I found online over top of it laces up in the back. I think it's super flattering, even though I think I'm a little too short for it. I think this was made for someone who has like a longer torso, but it is what it is. It's fine. This fishnet glove is from my high school days, I think. These are all bracelets that I DIY'd except for this one, which was a gift from one of you guys. So thank you again. And then I have a bunch of other bracelets that I DIY'd on this arm. They say stuff like creature of the night, spooky, boo, monster, and macabre on my little pastel bracelet, so I think it's super, super cute. This skirt was a DIY that I made and then kind of tucked away and haven't really looked at since because sometimes when I first make something, it takes me a minute to realize that it actually is quite cool because it's easy to see all the tiny imperfections and details you don't like when you first made it, but when you come back to it a couple of months later and you don't see all those things like right and fresh, it's easier to appreciate the full product, I guess. So this skirt was literally just a Halloween tablecloth that I cut a circle in the middle of and then put a button in so that I could fasten it around the back. I think it looks super cute because it's got this like graveyard, haunted house, spooky tree, spiderweb fabric all over. So it just makes me feel very spooky and witchy. The fact that it was made of a square piece of fabric makes it hang in this very triangular um, handkerchief style that I think is very quite flattering and it just adds a little layer of intrigue over what otherwise would just be a plain pink dress. 
And then for other leg wear, I'm wearing mismatched, one ripped tight and one lace tight. These were a gift from my boyfriend that were originally like real tights, but I don't really like tights. I find them super uncomfortable, so I cut them into like stockings. And then this is a stocking from my high school days that has been thoroughly destroyed. And these shoes are so freaking cute. They were a gift from my grandma, I think when I turned like 20 or something. I love them. They're pastel pink with little love hearts and little spikes and they're creepers and they're just so freaking adorable and I felt like they were perfect for this lookbook. So I had to include them. Just, yeah, super adorable, alternative, cutesy. This is another one that I think would go really well with a clown core makeup style, but I wanna get this video out to you guys in a timely manner. So it's been hard to kind of do really elaborate makeup and different makeup for all these different looks. I apologize because I'm kind of filming them on one day. Whoops. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to mention really quick that I almost forgot about is my little hair clips. So these hair clips, I made them just before filming this little outfit. I think they're super, super adorable. Basically, it's like a piece of felt that you cut into like kind of a bat wing shape and pinch to a bow. There's a million tutorials online if you just look up bat bow and then you know you put them on like a hair clip, but it's super, super simple. I added a little love heart bead to the center of them um, just to make them a little more appropriate for kind of like a love core lookbook kind of thing. Yeah, super, super simple DIY. I'll link the one that I use below for this in this video. But yes, hope you enjoyed this look and on to the next. All right, this outfit ended up a little bit wild. I just kept on adding stuff to it. And I know there's like some quote, I think by Coco Chanel about how like, every time you leave the house, take one thing off. No, opposite. Also F Chanel because bad history. But regardless, no, put everything on, everything you love. I, oh. Are you feeling this outfit very, very much? It's kind of ridiculously over the top, but I do adore it. Let's start from head to toe. So these earrings I found at Spirit Halloween, they were labeled as like clown heart earrings. They look like lollipops and I think they're amazing. I love things that are like clear plastic like this and the stripes just chef's kiss. This is a choker that I DIY'd myself. I'm pretty sure the tutorial's up on my channel. This necklace is like, Technically one, but it looks like four different necklaces. I found it at the thrift store and it's just like little tiny black beads. The two red necklaces, I DIY'd myself. And then both shirts I'm wearing, I DIY'd myself. This is a really recent project. It was just a black tube top that had like buttons down it. I removed the buttons, put on this red bat patch and I think it looks really cool. And then underneath, originally I was just gonna wear, I'll show you guys, this shirt as the top for this outfit. It's like this faux corset that I kind of made, but I thought the bat looked better. But I didn't like to be strapless, so I decided to like still add this because I really like this detail on the tank top that I'm wearing. So F it, we're layering two tank tops. And I also layered a pair of fishnet tights that have a bunch of rips in them as my arm warmers. And then this is, I was wearing this as a choker earlier, but it can also be worn as a bracelet. And then I've got this bracelet that I DIY'd. It just has bite me and has black and red beads on it. And then this bracelet that is kind of fake blood and it's from the dollar store at Halloween, I believe. Then for the skirt, originally I was wearing the skirt on its own. And then I decided I had to try it on with the petticoat underneath. And it just is so fun and flouncy. I freaking love petticoats. They make everything so fun. Just like absolutely adorable. Make you feel like a princess in an instant. Highly recommend. You can often find them at costume stores if you have one of those that is open year round. Otherwise around Halloween is a really, really great time to find them. Or you can buy them online. It's quite easy to find them quite cheaply nowadays. However, I would recommend supporting a local costume store if possible or a local thrift store if that's a thing around Halloween. This belt, I also started with one belt, ended up with two. This one I found at the thrift store ages and ages ago. It's from the brand Baby Fat, which I don't really care about brands, but I really like that their logo looks like a spooky little cat. I think that's super fun. I don't think they're a spooky brand, but their logo still is fun because I love cats. And then I have layered that with this belt that I found online ages ago. It's got these kind of suspender straps on the side that have little heart buckles. So it felt very appropriate for like a love core look and these little extra chains. So I just thought that like the triple chain looked really good over the super poofy skirt. This skirt, I freaking love. I found this at the thrift store around Halloween. I saw it like two years in a row or three years in a row. Last year I finally caved and bought it. I adore it. It's red with black velvet locked 
the cats, scary cats on it, and like little moons, and it just feels so, 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 so fun. I absolutely adore it. And then yes, underneath, as we have mentioned, I've got my ridiculously poofy petticoat, which makes everything just so, so much fun. Then for leg and footwear, I am wearing one stripey stocking, and I have this heart garter belt on, which I think is really cute and appropriate for this kind of look. Plus, lace always feels very romantic, so I've been using this legging in quite a few looks. I've got a shredded single stocking with this kind of spiky knee garter situation. I really like it, but I don't get a chance to wear it very often because kneeling in it is not very fun. <laughs> so it's <laughs> kind of a delicate operation. And the boots, as we have mentioned before, I think they are so, so freaking amazing. Heart boots that are platforms. I love, and yes, surprisingly comfortable, as mentioned before. Very, very cute. This is so mall goth. This is so early 2000s. I feel like 12 year old me would be screaming if they knew that I could do this kind of thing. It's so fun. I love it. Very, very happy. And yeah, I think this look is really, really fun. A lot of red, so it feels appropriate for like a Valoween situation. Oh, obligatory spin. Okay, so this look is a little bit more like understated, especially when I take this thing off, but it feels like ridiculously elegant and very, again, out of what I normally wear on my day to day, but it's okay. I felt like it was so elegant and fancy and romantic goth inspired that I needed a black rose. This one Cage gave to me when we first started dating, so it's very nostalgic. I've kept it forever. Just, you know, to accessorize the outfit, so that's why I'm holding this. Just a little prop. Okay, sorry that my earrings are ridiculously loud and claggy. I also added like a little bit of red lipstick. I don't know if you can see it. Just in the center of the black. Okay, so I've got a big ol' heart that's like made of tin or something. I found these at the thrift store and they have this kind of cool, it reminds me of the Powerpuff Girls logo, the way it has kind of these like almost stripey kind of pattern in it. And then behind those, I'm wearing these little bat earrings that I made. Super simple, just a little bat charm with like a red bead. I think I have a video on how I made these. It's super, super easy. I feel ridiculously naked without a collar on, but I'm just wearing one super long piece of thrifted jewelry. This one is like kind of brassy and it has blue and I chose the brassy color because this has like gold in it and I normally don't wear gold colors but I felt like this kind of matched. So let's look at the outfit itself. Um, I'm wearing just some fun different rings. So this is it. Super fun. I've made this skirt super recently, like just a couple of days ago, kind of for this video, because I felt like I needed a very dramatic, exciting skirt. But regardless, let's start with the top. This little capelet I made myself, it's ridiculously easy. It took like under an hour. Has these like gold moon cats and like some stars, and I added this like little delicate lace at the bottom. I found this material around Halloween and I just had been meaning to make something with it and I found that this was perfect. I still have a bunch left over so lots more stuff to come I hope to make with it. I also am wearing my spiderweb gloves. I know I've repeated these in a couple of outfits but I adore them. Without the shawl over top, this is the look we get. So yes, more simple, much fewer accessories than I normally wear but I figured it would be good to give kind of a simpler look a go. So my top, I just got it online. It's just like corset lace up, super cheap, bad quality corset, but it does the job and got it like a year ago and I do enjoy it. It's got these like little lacy sleeves that you could theoretically just like not wear if you just took your arms out of it, but they are quite cute. So this skirt, I've been seeing these like long black skirts that have these like slits that go like all the way up to here normally. And I think they're super, super beautiful, but I didn't really want to buy one from like a fast fashion company or anything like that. So I just went to the thrift store, found a long black skirt, cut, two slits in it and ta-da! We have like the easiest DIY ever. Makes like a plain skirt into like a very sexy, dramatic <laughs> skirt. So I'm wearing two pairs of stockings on this leg and my lacy stocking on this leg. The skirt can look really like kind of modest when it's together, but as soon as you start walking, it's just like bam, bam, little leg slits. Ooh, ooh, so Valoween, so etc etc um, and yes these boots my favorites I got these back when I was in university and they are my babies my demonias so comfy I'd highly highly recommend them so that's this outfit quite a lot more simple I guess in terms of like lack of choker and lack of big belts and like lack of those kinds of accessories but I still find it incredibly effective and for 
people that find my normal fashion extremely obnoxious and loud, this one's for you. <laughs> okay, so this is another fun, different look for me, totally going for something that I usually don't go for, but I'm so excited about it. I know this look might at first look a little vampiric, and that's okay, but the inspiration for this look is one of my favorite movies of all time is The Labyrinth with David Bowie. I love the costume design so much, and David Bowie, in my opinion, is like in that movie just like impeccable, so hot. So I was like, one of these outfits should probably be inspired by like some iconic hot person. And who is my iconic hot person? The Goblin King, of course. So yes, this outfit's super fun. Let's we'll start at the top. I've got just like some sword earrings with like some little bats. Take it or leave it. I feel like this outfit works without this as well, but I, I just need to wear my collars. I feel weird without them. Um, and then I'll show the other jewelry I have underneath really quick. Uh, but this is kind of depending on the vibe that we're going for on this outfit. So we've got this necklace that I made out of just like different charms that are all kind of vampire themed. We've got like bats and open mouth teeth and coffins and and other teeth and I've got this like fake rosary that I made out of some beads. This shirt was just like a white frilly shirt that I found at the thrift store and I got it because it felt very vampiric but also when I bought it it had these super ugly ginormous gold buttons on it so I took those off and replaced them with a little skull and a little skull and a little skull just uh, these beads that I found online. It might be a bit difficult to see, but they are very cool. I like them a lot. So yes, this shirt thrifted from the old lady section. I know people say like, oh my thrift store only has old lady clothes. Oftentimes you can get old lady clothes to kind of work for you, in my opinion, perhaps. Especially if you dye them or customize them or style them in interesting ways. I've got a bunch of belts on, on this outfit. This layered belt from the thrift store, this one that I got online. And then I've attached my blood vial necklace to the straps as just kind of an extra little leg piece. And I've got my leather pants. They're obviously not real leather whatsoever. They're like this shiny fake plastic material and they just feel so shiny and so David Bowie and I feel quite hot in them which is not a feeling that I usually have um, back when I was in high school I loved pants like these and I remember very specifically like one of my favorite outfits was like pants like these and one of my favorite pants at the time was Black Veil Brides so I had a bunch of Black Veil I had like two or three Black Veil Brides t-shirts that I would like cycle in and out and wear like my pants and my like spiked up hair I was very um, into emo at that time in my life, which is still a wonderful style, but um, yes, shiny pleather pants making a comeback in Rabbit's life, and we're loving it. Feeling very, very David Bowie in this outfit. Of course, I don't have the iconic crotch bulge, but you'll have to forgive me. <laughs> For the boots, I am wearing my favorite demonias. We'll show them really quick. These are the boots. They are quite simple but effective. The star of this outfit, in my opinion, is the frilly shirt and the leather pants, so I kind of wanted to focus on those, but I do quite enjoy my little David Bowie inspired look. All right, and then like buttoned up is kind of the bit more masculine version, but I'm wearing just kind of like a velvet bralette top that I feel like if you wanted to go for like a super vampire-y kind of interesting vixen kind of look, you could wear one of these shirts, but like have it open with like a bralette kind of top underneath and then it's just kind of like, ooh, so sexy, so vampiric. What a tempting human going to suck your blood. This outfit also probably required some fangs, so apologies for the lack of those. But yes, that's this one. Hey, hi. Okay, so this outfit, I was trying to theme around this shirt that my boyfriend got me, I think either for Christmas last year or for my birthday last year, but I honestly have so much trouble with styling it every single time because it's white and I rarely wear white. Mostly because I'm scared of getting it dirty, but B, I also just don't think it looks good on me, like, because of my skin tone and stuff. I feel like it just brings out the green, like, undertone that I got, which sucks, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, I ended up pairing this out with outfit with some custom pieces by me, so I think it ended up pretty cool in the end. So up top I have these sunglasses that are heart-shaped. I found these at the thrift store, probably back in high school, because these feel like something that I would have gotten when I was like more in my hippie phase. But regardless, I think they work very well with like kind of like a love court themed outfit, so they had to be included at some point. These are little earrings that I made myself out of some bones that are ethically harvested that I traded for someone on Tumblr years and years ago, but I just made them into, into earrings recently. Choker is just spiked, um, plain classic whatever. This jacket 
It is made by me. I paint a patch on the back and it glows in the dark. The back patch does. And I'm pretty sure there's a video on my- yeah, there's a video on my channel, channel about making this jacket. It's pretty cool, except it's quite tight. I don't get as much use out of it as I should because I often like to layer hoodies under jackets. But regardless, it's still a cool piece and I always like to throw it on for some of these videos, you know? And then this shirt! This shirt was kind of like supposed to be the star of this outfit. It was kind of like what I was facing the outfit around and to be fair you can't see it too much but regardless I love the design very very much. It says, uh, well the artist's name is Sarah Rosa. So it says love hurts, tattoos don't, get tattooed. And I like to just roll it up at the bottom so a little bit of the uh, spider fishnet is hanging out and I think it looks quite cool. And then I've just got some random leathery straps that I've put on as some bracelets for the day. And then let's move on to our foot and leg wear. As mentioned, I have these tights that have like kind of a spider web pattern on them. And I like wearing tights under ripped jeans because you can see like that little bit of detail and I think it's a lot of fun. Then I'm wearing these strappy leg things that I got years ago online from like AliExpress. This belt with the chain that I have paired again with like the multiple belt thing going back to like my emo days, which I love. And then these are my pants from my high school days. I remember staying up in my bedroom with my best friend and painting a bunch of these patches, working on my pants and she was working on her pants and just like bonding and having like such a fun time. So these pants will always be very nostalgic to me. They do fit, but they are a little bit tight <laughs> because I got them in high school. So you gotta wear like a belt so you can't tell that like the zipper is just, you know, just hanging in there. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I love how crust pants always feel like a second skin. Like no matter how long you've had them, if you manage to like still fit into them, they're just like so comfy and like perfectly molded to your body it feels like. Especially because like all the patches that I sew on, I like I sewed them on while I was wearing the pants. I feel like that has something to do with it. Regardless, I'm wearing the amazing Facebook Marketplace boots again. I feel like they work with this outfit, just lots of chunky black leather details. Um, so the big buckles I think work with these buckles and the chain and like all the random details in my jacket. So that's this outfit. I think it works out quite well. Big fan of this jacket, big fan of these pants. Two items that should get more wear, but haven't in the last little while of my life. So, note to self, wear these more. Alright, on to the next outfit. Yeah, sorry, my bangs are being ridiculous. I, I, I'm cutting them next month, I promise. February, we're getting a haircut, I promise. Okay, <laughs> this outfit. I'm really proud of myself because I actually made this little overshawl thing that you see right now. I made it myself today. Ha! I was basically watching some like spooky lookbooks to get some inspiration and there were two that I watched that both of the people that I was watching had this kind of beautiful lacy cropped thing and it was so gorgeous and beautiful and I think I'd seen it online before. Regardless, if I remember, it was like $65. Oh, like I don't think I would want to pay that for a shawl. Um, so I made this out of a dress that I wasn't getting out of any use out of it and I'm really happy. The little bat details are super, super cute, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So I'm wearing these big old pentagram earrings. I got these at Spirit Halloween and I think they're wonderful. Just realized I'm not wearing a necklace and I kind of want to fix that, so one sec. <laughs> Okay, this feels better. Um, I'm wearing this choker that was just a choker with a couple of rings on it that I added a little spider charm to. It would be super easy to DIY something like this. I honestly feel kind of silly for buying it because it's literally just three pieces of leathers with some O-rings and some snaps. So silly past me. I don't know, me from a year ago, what were you thinking? Regardless, that's the choker. This is the little like capelet thing. I don't know honestly what to call this. A shrug, perhaps. Also, I know it's like a little bit crooked. These are sewn on. I might fix it at some point, but I couldn't be arsed, as the British say, <laughs> after I'd finished sewing it. So I might fix it in the future, but that's not a problem for today, Rabbit. That is a problem for future Rabbit. I do like how this pairs with like the spider kind of dangling down between the bats. I feel like it's a very cool combination of animals. Okay, dress. The red one that I'm wearing underneath everything I found at the thrift store. The original brand is Shane, Shine, whatever. This corset top is from AliExpress from like a year ago. This is the red kind of velvet dress with like the lace sleeves and the kind of satiny corset. It all feels very like romantic and I feel ready for like a graveyard date in this outfit. I feel super freaking cute. For leg and footwear, I'm wearing these heart-shaped garter 
buckle things that I got, I believe, at an adult store back when I lived in Vancouver. Um, sometimes they have adorable accessories, so, you know. And then these tights, a rare moment of rabbit wearing matching tights. These are the ones that Cage got for me, and then I cut into stockings. And I'm wearing my amazing Facebook Marketplace heart-shaped demonia boots with like a little bit of a heel which just feels like so cute and flirty and I love how the heart-shaped garters match the hearts on my boots and I did roll the stockings down quite a bit because I wanted the garters to be visible as well as my tattoos because I never get to show them off. I hope to be getting another one from Cage soon so hopefully we'll have a more visible tattoo soon other than ones on my face. Regardless that's this outfit. I do quite enjoy it and again another more elegant outfit but having the shorter skirt and the garters out makes me feel a little bit more like what i'm used to wearing but this feels like very elegant and like ooh, fancy fancy but always fun to experiment with your style and wear exciting things even if it's just to hang out in your bedroom and feel really adorable and feel proud of yourself for making something because honestly i'm so happy i feel like there's so much higher chance of me continuing to wear this over continuing to wear the dress that this was made out of that was honestly just not the most flattering cut. So yes, that's this outfit with my little knockoff shrug that I'm very, very happy with. And my red velvet dress that's honestly one of my favorites. I know I've like probably worn this a lot in videos. You guys might be sick of it, but I feel like accessorizing it different every time makes sense. And how could I do a Valoe lookbook without including the like short red velvet dress? You know what I mean? It would have, it would have made no sense. Anyway, okay, so this outfit is super, super fun. I feel like I've worn kind of variations of this before, but hang with me. It's one of those like super, cold weather looking on the outside but underneath it's like ridiculously flouncy and adorable and not at all appropriate for the cold weather so I love it. I've got these really cute earmuffs. They're pink. I found them at the thrift store in the kid section. If your thrift store has a kid section and you are an adult but you are still into like kind of pastel cutesy stuff, check out the kid section because they have cute cool things and even if like you don't fit into the things, for instance a Monster High kids shirt, you can still cut out the graphic and put it onto something. So. Pro tip, this backpack I made myself, it's uh, Miles from Emily the Strange as like a school animals on a bag. I think it's super, super cute. And the straps are spiderweb fabric that I got at the fabric store around Halloween. I think it's adorable. And I do have a video on my channel about how I made this backpack. And I think it turned out really cute. And then for the jacket, I love this jacket so much. I found it on Facebook Marketplace. It's a hell bunny jacket and it has the cutest pocket heart details. I don't know if you'll be able to see because of the light, but they are very, very, very freaking cute. And the back is awesome. You might have seen this already, uh, but it has this really cool bustle. Unfortunately, this jacket is a little large for me, so you don't get like the way the bustle is necessarily supposed to lay, but that's okay. I still love it. I think it was 50 or $60 on Facebook Marketplace, and I am obsessed with it. It is so cute, so like kind of gothic Lolita feeling, which is a style that I've always admired but never really dressed in. The collar is adorable and huge. The buttons are adorable. There's like all this lace detailing. The little bows on the heart pockets are just everything. And then underneath, so freaking cute. Ah, this is the dress that I'm wearing. It feels so cute and so flancy and pastel and just everything like appropriate for Valentine's Day. To make it a little bit more spooky, I've paired it with these arm warmers that I DIY'd out of some scrap leftover velvet and lace that I had from a project and then I just put grommets in it and some ribbon and I think they're super super cute. Arm warmers and leg warmers are super easy to make. You just pretty much make a rectangle that can fit around your thing and then fasten it in the way you would like. Oh, for jewelry, this leather choker I found at the thrift store. It's got all these different studs on it and I think it's really cute. This locket is from the thrift store. This moon necklace is from the thrift store. This was just a pair of black plastic beads that I got from a relative and then I attached this little bat charm on it that fell off another choker I had. Then to make this a little bit more spooky, I've added this black velvet bat that I just I was wearing this in my hair in one of the other videos, but yeah, I just put two little clips on it so it can be this fun little bat top thing. This was from the Halloween store. It's like a velvet bat that you're supposed to hang off your ceiling, but I like to make accessories out of Halloween decorations, so haha. <laughs> this dress I found at the thrift store back when I lived kind of near Vancouver. It was from the lingerie section 
but I think it makes an adorable freaking dress. It's like this super femme, over the top, ridiculously princessy pink thing that I just think is so, so freaking cute, especially when you pair it with like kind of a little bit more spooky stuff. So it's got like adorable lacy sleeves. It's got this like roughly top with like a bow in the center. I did pair a corset belt to just break up the pink a little bit, uh, but it's got a super, super flouncy skirt with two layers. And then since it's super, super short and technically is a lingerie item, I have put some bloomers on underneath. I've recently gotten back into wearing bloomers. Back in high school, I would wear ones that I made for myself that like went down to here and I did get made fun of for them. <laughs> but now I have like very adorable black lacy bloomers that have like a little bit of a heart detail on the leg, which I just think is like super, super adorable and appropriate. So yes, these are super, super cute. They've got big bows on the side. They've just got all these ruffles. So they make whatever you're wearing um, get all poofy underneath. And I just found them online. I think they're precious, adorable. Got them like a year ago. But if you just look up black bloomers, you can find a million things that are similar. I've got garters on to hold up my stockings. One is this lace stocking that I made out of a pair of tights my boyfriend got me. One is this spiderweb stocking that I got at the dollar store around Halloween. And I'm wearing these freaking amazing shoes. I remember lusting after these shoes for so long and then seeing them come up on Facebook Marketplace in my size for $60, like quite close to me. I was so freaking lucky. They're like pastel pink demonia sprites, I think. They've got little heart detail shoe buckles and I do want to say I'm showing a lot of different shoes in this video you absolutely do not need to feel pressured to own a million different pairs of shoes for the longest time I just had my one pair of docks and then like slowly added more to it but I found so many on Facebook marketplace lately that I've just felt so so lucky but I do want to say it's a privilege to get to own a lot of secondhand shoes and I know they're really hard to find for a lot of people so yes keep a lookout on your local marketplaces but I feel ridiculously lucky that so many cool alternative people live in my area and give away such cool clothes for affordable prices um, including things like these shoes so yes I love them they're super super freaking cute not the most comfortable if I'm honest if you are looking into getting these shoes size up clown toed shoes from Demonia. Any size I found you want to size up, like I'm a size 7 and these are labeled as a size 7 but I feel like they'd fit more comfortable if you were a 6, but it is what it is. Still adorable. The pink matches perfectly. I don't know if the light is doing it justice, but I think these are amazing. That's this outfit without the jacket over top. It feels just adorable, flirty, kind of Draculaura inspired, um, and earmuffs are just a thing that I love. Even if they're from the kids section, I'd highly recommend checking those sections if you are interested in finding your own base. I love these, and yeah, that's this look. Okay, so this outfit is really fun. It's super similar actually to what I wore, I think, on my 21st or 22nd birthday. I went out to get vegan lunch with my mom and I wore this dress and these tights and I think these shoes, but I didn't have this jacket yet so I thought I'd include it because I'm obsessed with this jacket. If you saw my subscriber mail unboxing, then you might have seen it already, but if you haven't, you are in for a treat because this is the coolest freaking jacket I have ever owned in my life. It has my name painted on here. It has the artist's tag in here. I'll link them below. Lunchtime be damned. Um, their name is Lizzie and they're incredible and I love this jacket and with all the pastels and stuff it felt perfect for this lookbook and this outfit. So I will show you the amazing part of it which is the back! Lemon and Tuna fan club president! If you're new to the channel, Lemon and Tuna are my cat's names and I'm obsessed with them and I love them. And this is the best freaking thing I've ever seen. The font is incredible. The art is amazing. I literally, after I got it, after I finished filming, I like stared at this for like 15 or 20 minutes just like taking in all the details because it was so amazing and it is so amazing and I adore it and I love wearing it every day to work. So yes, amazing. Um, <laughs> then I'm also wearing this Karomi bag. Super just like simple. It matches with my earrings that I made myself. They're just like little charms that I put on a fish hook earring piece. They've got Karomi on them and they're super simple. I think I found the charms online ages ago. This choker is also from online. And then if I take the jacket off, I'm wearing this really adorable little dress. This dress is technically a Stranger Things 11 costume, apparently, but I've layered it with this corset and this belt to make it a little bit more alternative and edgy. And this is what it looks like, you know, that. And then for legwear and footwear, 
I'm wearing these really adorable tights. The only issue with them is that they kind of cover up my tattoos, but it's not that big of a deal. Let me give you a closer look. So these tights I got online like a couple years ago. They have these like Sailor Moon Cats Luna on them that I think are absolutely adorable. And then for shoes, I'm wearing again my little pink Demonia Sprites. I think they're precious because they go with the out with the dress perfectly like they're the exact same shade of pink Pretty much. I don't know if it's showing up on camera that way But in real life they do look extremely close and I think that this is just like a really adorable cutesy outfit This is very like pastel goth and kind of reminiscent of what I was wearing in my more pastel goth kind of days But I still really like it and I think a super adorable cutesy little pink dress like this is very appropriate for like Valloween, Valentine's, etc, etc. Plus these, as usual, have a little hearts on them, so that also feels appropriate for the occasion. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. I really, really appreciate you tuning in and uh, sticking with me for so long. I know this was a really long video, so I appreciate you staying around till the end. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night or whatever you happen to be watching. And that's all I got for now. So hope to see you in the next one. Bye!